Turtle Valley is, um, it's creepy. Oh, yeah. It's almost a, a ghost story or a... Well, it's a, oh, gee, a bit of a supernatural thriller, murder, mystery, romance. You're right, it's gothic. You're yeah. right, it's gothic. Yeah, well, I grew up in a great storytelling tradition. You know, my family, uh, our idea of entertainment was sitting around and telling all these what amounted to legends and tall tales, you know, and you hear about the ghosts that lived in so-and-so's house and the dark deeds that happened, you know, oh, 100 years ago and all this kind of stuff. And it, and it was wonderful. I mean, it just lit my imagination up when I was a kid, of course. And I think that was the basis for the magic realism that, that tends to turn up in my books. I never sit down and go, oh, gee, I'm going to have supernatural elements in my book. They just kind of turn up on their own, which is uh, always a surprise. And always fun. It's interesting that you mentioned family. Family is very much at the heart of Turtle Valley. Oh yeah, yeah. My my roots go deep into farm country, and they go back what four generations, right? And uh, many of these farm communities do, even in BC. Um, here in Ontario, of course, they go back much further, very often. And um, and of course, this landscape that I grew up in, the Shishwap Thompson, it really is full of stories for me because it does go back into those generations. Um, so when I walk around that landscape, it's full of story. There's story everywhere for me. And they're not just family stories, they're stories of the region, legends of the region. And they go back, um, like I say, you know, um, 120 years. Uh, so that's at the basis of the stories and at the heart of the stories. Um, when it comes to the family stuff, um, community is very important for me. And I think it is for most people. And even when we moved away from our, our family, um, it still tugs at us hugely. And I've entered midlife. And uh, with that comes uh, responsibility for parents. I lost both my parents as I was writing this book. And um, it means caregiving for a great many women in particular. And I think maybe this is part of the reason why I do have a woman following, because uh, I'm writing about uh, the details of their lives here. Uh, for me, I, I did take care of my own mom when she was in mental decline and then when she had a stroke. And of course, that fed this book. Um, and I also watched all the people around us in the institution where she was cared for going through exactly the same thing. So they were husbands taking care of wives and wives taking care of husbands and mostly uh, women taking care of their own parents. Uh, so, yeah, family is hugely important to this book. And, um, and you know, it's the... It's the foundation of, of what I write about, I think. I'm not sure if I will continue to write about family stories, but it's certainly been what I've written about up until this point. Your central character, Kat, I just I felt really bad for her right from the start. Yeah. Uh, not because there's this huge fire sweeping down on, <laughs> on her and her whole family, <laughs> going to wipe them out at any time. Uh, as if that isn't bad enough. As if that isn't bad enough. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you really do pile it on this poor woman, I have to say. Uh, <laughs> her, her father's dying, mother's uh, checking out mentally, uh, she's got a little kid, and her husband is, is, has had a stroke and is kind of childlike in his mm -hmm. own way, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, you're right. I am piling it on. And the reason is that that's our middle years, uh, especially for women. We are giving care to our own kids. We're giving care to our parents. Our parents are very often dying. And uh, this book started out as a uh, celebration in its way to those who give care. I didn't want to paint a rosy picture of those who give care. I wanted to paint a, as close as I could a realistic picture. And again, I interviewed a great many people who had been through similar things to what I had been through with my mother. And um, I found those patterns over and over again of what they what they had gone through, and it, it was all about family relationships changing and altering fundamentally. It was about um, a lot of pain and loss. It was about humor because that was the only way to deal with a great amount of this stuff. I remember um, uh, so many funny moments with my mom just dealing with her. So, um, so yeah, a great deal is piled on that character because that's life. In our middle years, there's a lot going on, and most of it's hard. And uh, but we find a way to get through it, you know. And we find out a whole lot about ourselves that way. 
And of course, this book is about one person finding out about herself and finding a way out. Uh, tell me about the mother's lightning arm. Oh, yeah, well, that's got its seeds in family, you know, tall tales as well. And uh, of course, the cure for death by lightning, Beth is struck by lightning and has a lightning arm. And my, my own mom um, was struck by lightning and she survived. And it did affect her right arm for a time. And so that was a little seed of it. Um, but of didn't course, it didn't give her superpowers, though. It didn't give her okay. any superpowers, you know, which is unfortunate. But that was the kind of, that was the seed for it. And, um, and uh, you know, as I was writing this book, I went back to home territory to write it. I, I didn't intend to write a sequel in any way, and I really don't think this is a sequel. Um, it's a continuation in its way, but um, Beth was the first one to tap me on the shoulder and say, hello, there's more here. Uh, I didn't intend to write her as a character, and she just turned up. That was the first thing that happened. I went, hey, what's going on here? And uh, she turned up as a elderly woman dealing with this lightning arm that, uh, you know, acts on its own in um, sort of in self-protection in its way. You know, it's her, her subconscious acting out on its own. And so it was a really interesting element. Um, it was a bit spooky for me because I'd already written that element into the book and then my mother had a stroke and that stroke took away that lightning arm. It was like she'd been hit a second time. So um, it became even more, it had more resonance for me, uh, again, as I was writing this book for that reason. So it was very strange, you know. Um, writing can be very strange. It's full of these odd events that, that have meaning for a writer. The book is Turtle Valley. I've been speaking with the author of Gail Anderson Dargatz and Turtle Valley, published by Top Canada.